The ongoing war in Ukraine has far-reaching consequences not just for the country itself, but also for the global economy. As the conflict continues to disrupt supply chains, drive up commodity prices, and exacerbate inflationary pressures, governments and central banks worldwide face an uphill battle to reduce inflation. In this video, we'll explore the various ways the war in Ukraine impacts inflation reduction rates, delving into its direct effects on global supply chains, the role of central banks, and the geopolitical implications of the conflict on global economic recovery. Please share this video with your network and subscribe for more insights on global economic developments. The war in Ukraine has significantly impacted global supply chains, most notably in crucial sectors such as energy, agriculture, and metals. Ukraine is a major grain, sunflower oil, and iron ore exporter. The ongoing conflict has caused supply disruptions for these commodities, leading to price increases on the global market. According to data from the World Bank, global wheat prices increased by 12% in the immediate aftermath of the war, while sunflower oil prices rose by 17%. Russia has further exacerbated this situation as one of the world's largest energy exporters, and the war has disrupted the natural gas supply, resulting in higher energy prices worldwide. In fact, European natural gas prices surged by over 30% during the initial stages of the conflict. These direct effects have created a ripple effect throughout the global economy. Companies face higher input costs, disrupted logistics, and reduced access to credit, leading to increased consumer prices. The disruptions to supply chains have also highlighted the vulnerabilities in global trade, emphasizing the need for greater diversification and resilience in sourcing essential goods. The war's impact on commodity prices and supply chains has made it increasingly challenging for central banks to achieve their inflation targets, complicating their efforts to manage economic stability. Central banks across the globe have faced the arduous task of addressing the challenges presented by the war in Ukraine. They have had to strike a delicate balance between providing essential economic support and controlling inflation. The Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank ECB, have acknowledged the war's influence on inflation and have been actively adapting their monetary policies. For instance, the Federal Reserve estimated that the war could boost U.S. consumer price inflation by 0.4 to 0.6 percentage points in 2022. The Federal Reserve has tackled rising inflation by methodically raising interest rates, a move aimed at curbing excessive price growth. Simultaneously, the ECB has been scaling back its asset purchase program, designed to avert additional price increases. In February 2023, the ECB increased its key interest rates by 25 basis points, marking its first rate hike in over a decade. However, gauging the effectiveness of these actions in the face of persistent conflict and supply chain disruptions proves to be a challenge. Central banks must definitely navigate the fine line of delivering economic support, including stimulus measures, without exacerbating inflationary pressures or hindering long-term growth prospects. This predicament underscores the crucial role of well-calibrated and flexible monetary policies in addressing unforeseen crises. Moreover, it highlights the need for central banks to continuously assess the evolving situation, adapt their strategies as needed, and maintain open communication with governments, financial institutions, and the public. By doing so, central banks can better manage the uncertainties and economic consequences stemming from the war in Ukraine ensuring they maintain stability and foster sustainable growth in these trying times. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to stay updated on the latest economic news and analysis. The ongoing war in Ukraine has added complexity to the European Union's efforts to implement the Inflation Reduction Act. While the EU remains committed to mitigating inflation, it is also tasked with ensuring that its actions do not compromise competitive markets or yield unintended negative consequences. Striking a delicate balance between these objectives has become increasingly difficult due to the economic disruptions and geopolitical tensions arising from the war. To effectively navigate these challenges, the EU must adopt a multifaceted approach that encompasses monetary policy, fiscal measures, structural reforms, and initiatives to bolster the resilience of supply chains. As noted by Euractiv, 
policymakers must be cautious not to damage competitive markets when implementing measures to address inflation. This comprehensive and coordinated strategy will enable the EU to address the complex challenges posed by the war in Ukraine while preserving its market's integrity and competitiveness. Emphasizing cooperation and coordination with its member states and international partners is essential to guarantee that inflation reduction efforts are practical, harmonized, and uniformly implemented across the region. The war in Ukraine has had far-reaching consequences for the global economy, exacerbating existing challenges and creating new obstacles to recovery. The conflict has disrupted supply chains, leading to supply shortages, increasing commodity prices, and adversely affecting economic growth. The European Commission estimated in early 2023 that the war could reduce the EU's economic growth by 0.3 to 0.5 percentage points. Moreover, the increased uncertainty associated with the war has impacted consumer confidence and hindered trade, prolonging the timeline for a full financial recovery. This conflict has also highlighted the vulnerabilities of the global economy, such as over-reliance on specific trade partners and the need for greater diversification of supply chains. Policymakers worldwide must focus on fostering resilience and adaptability in the global economy to address these challenges and promote sustainable growth. Investments in infrastructure, innovation, and international cooperation are vital to mitigate risks and achieve sustainable development. The aftermath of the war in Ukraine demands a coordinated and comprehensive effort from governments and central banks to achieve long-term inflation reduction. According to a speech by ECB President Christine Lagarde in February 2023, the ECB has adopted a strongly accommodative monetary policy stance and will continue to adjust its measures as needed to address the economic challenges posed by the war. To achieve this goal, policymakers must consider various measures, including continued adjustments to monetary policies, targeted fiscal policies, and structural reforms to enhance productivity and competitiveness. Moreover, Policymakers should prioritize efforts to strengthen the resilience of global supply chains, encourage investment in clean and sustainable energy sources, and enhance international cooperation to address shared challenges. These initiatives can help mitigate the impact of future shocks and disruptions, ensuring the global economy remains resilient and adaptable. Policymakers must also consider the lessons learned from the war in crafting long-term inflation reduction strategies. For instance, investing in energy security and diversifying trade partnerships could help mitigate the impact of supply chain disruptions and geopolitical risks. The war in Ukraine has intensified geopolitical tensions and created uncertainties that can contribute to inflationary pressures. As countries re-evaluate their relationships with key trading partners and strive to diversify their critical goods and services sources, new trade barriers may arise, increasing costs for businesses and consumers. Additionally, the conflict has highlighted the importance of energy security, prompting nations to invest in alternative energy sources and technologies, which may have long-term implications for energy prices and inflation. Geopolitical risks, such as potential sanctions and trade restrictions, can influence inflation by disrupting supply chains and affecting the availability of essential goods. For example, the European Commission reported that EU sanctions imposed on Russia in response to the war have contributed to higher gas prices. Natural gas prices in Europe increased by more than 300% between September 2021 and February 2023. These higher energy prices have translated into increased costs for businesses and consumers, contributing to inflationary pressures. Furthermore, the war has prompted a global reassessment of energy security, leading to increased investments in renewable energy sources and energy storage technologies. According to the International Energy Agency, the share of renewables in global electricity generation increased from 29% in 2021 to 33% in 2022, a more significant year-on-year -year increase than any other energy source. While investments in clean energy can help mitigate long-term inflationary pressures by reducing reliance on fossil fuels, the transition costs and necessary infrastructure investments may initially contribute to inflation in the short term. To address the geopolitical implications of the war and its influence on inflation, 
policymakers must carefully manage the balance between providing economic support, ensuring energy security, and maintaining price stability. This may require a combination of fiscal, monetary, and regulatory measures and enhanced international cooperation and coordination to address shared challenges and promote global economic resilience. In conclusion, unmasking the impact of the war in Ukraine on inflation reduction rates reveals a complex and interconnected web of challenges that policymakers around the world must confront. From disrupted supply chains and volatile commodity prices, to the delicate balancing act of central banks and geopolitical implications, the war's far-reaching consequences demand a comprehensive and coordinated response. By adopting multifaceted strategies and fostering international cooperation, governments and central banks can work together to address these challenges, promote economic stability, and achieve long-term inflation reduction in the aftermath of the conflict. The lessons learned from this crisis will be instrumental in building a more resilient and adaptable global economy, better equipped to handle future shocks and uncertainties. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your network, and don't forget to subscribe for a more in-depth analysis of global economic issues.